Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to look at how to solve algebraic inequalities and we're going to be using inequalities with uh, rational numbers that would mean like with our integers, with our whole numbers, with our uh, fractions, decimals, negative uh, fractions and decimals, anything you can imagine we're going to put together um, on this lesson. Uh, so let's go ahead and just go ahead and get started. Um, if we have the problem why minus 3.1 is greater than or equal to 4.2. Okay, well let's go ahead and begin. Um, on this problem, we're going to treat this just like an equation. Uh, we're going to go ahead and our goal is to get the y or our variable by itself. So right now we have minus 3.1. We want to get rid of that by adding 3.1. If we add 3.1 over here, um, Minusing 3.1 and adding, they cancel each other out. Or you could even think of it as a plus negative, and a negative 3.1 plus a positive 3.1 equals 0. Over here, we're going to add 3.1 as well. And when we add them, we're going to get a 3 here and a 7. So we have 7.3. And so we have y is greater than or equal to 7.3. Uh, and again, if you would like, you can plug this into the original equation. And so we could put in our uh, 7.3 right here. 7.3 minus the 3.1 would get us 4.2. That way we know we have a correct answer. Um, and uh, we have to uh, graph our answer. Let's go ahead and make a number line. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put three points in the number line. I'm going to put... Uh, 7.2, 7.3, 7.4. And uh, <laughs> with this one, we're going to go ahead and use a closed circle. Uh, the reason we use a closed circle is because if it is greater than or equal to, it can be equal. Therefore, the closed, if we had uh, y equals 7.3, you'd have a closed circle where the 7.3 is. However, in this case, y can be 7.3 or it can be greater. So all the solutions to the right of 7.3 would also be included. That means I could plug any answer in off of that number line that is greater than or equal to 7.3 and it'd make a true statement. For example, if I put um, 8 min uh, 8.1 minus 3.1, I'd get 5. And 5 is greater than uh, 4.2, therefore it would work. So any number that is greater than or equal to 7.3 <coughs> would uh, work out perfectly in here. And so that's how we uh, use a number line to uh, demonstrate our graph here. Let's go ahead and try another one here. Let's say we have negative, uh, negative one-fifth w is less than or equal to 2. Okay, I'm going to uh, take you through this problem and point out something that's special about inequalities in multiplying by negatives. Now, let's go ahead and start this problem off. If I have a negative 1 fifth times w, so negative 1 fifth w is less than or equal to 2, we'll remember that we want to multiply by the reciprocal to get rid of the negative 1 fifth. So we're going to multiply by negative 5 over 1. And therefore, we're going to multiply this by negative 5 over 1, or just negative 5. Our 5 and 5 cancel out. Our 1 and 1 cancel out, as well as the negatives. And we're left with a W. Um, now, we're going to go ahead just to try this out. We're going to go ahead and put uh, is less than or equal to negative 10. Now, again, we are supposed to check our answer by plugging one into the original problem. So let's pick a number that is less than or equal to negative 10. And um, would you say that uh, negative 15 would work, right? So let's go ahead and do uh, negative 1 fifth times negative 15 over 1. And this is supposed to be less than or equal to positive 2. Well, when I multiply here, I'm going to see that uh, these cancel out, and I get a 1 and a 3, and the 1s cancel out. And so a negative 1 times a negative 3 gets me 3. Is 3 less than or greater than 2? No, it's not. Well, that brings me up to a uh, 
uh, an interesting point. When you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the side. And let me let me prove it to you. Let me show you why. If I have uh, four is greater than three, we can all agree. But if I multiply negative one times four, and I do negative one times three, now I have negative four is greater than negative three. Is that still true? No, negative four is not greater than negative three. It's actually less than negative three. Therefore, I have to uh, flip the sign to make this a true statement because negative four is now less than negative three. That's why when we multiply or divide by a negative number, we have to flip the sign. I can prove you, uh, what if we do this? Uh, 20 is less than 25. If I divide these both by negative four or negative uh, five, we'll say, if I divide these both by negative five, this turns into negative four, this turns into negative five. Is negative four still less than negative five? No, it's not. Now it's greater. So again, I have to flip it even if I'm dividing by a negative. And it's if I divide both sides by a negative. Negative, negative. And what happens is you're changing the sign on both sides. Therefore, you're changing uh, the values of each of the, you know, each of the expressions on either side. Um, it's, uh, so we have to flip the inequality sign. Hopefully that makes some sense to you. So what should have happened here is we would have w is greater than or equal to two or to uh, negative ten, and then we go ahead and graph it, and we're going to have uh, um, negative fifteen, negative ten, negative five. You could have used negative eleven, negative ten, negative nine, however you want to do it. I just did mine this way. And I'm going to say that it's closed because it's uh, greater than or equal to, and it goes to the right because, again, it's greater than or equal to all the solutions that are greater than. Um, and again, if I wanted to, I could, um, I could use 0 as a value and, and try it out. One f negative 1 fifth times 0 is 0, uh, and 0 is less than 2. And hopefully that makes sense to you. All right, so let's go ahead and try another one out. I think due to time, we're going we're gonna to try a few of these, and I'll have a, uh, a second version of this. Let's try one more. Let's say that I have six is greater than or uh, greater than negative zero point three y. All right, now if that makes you uncomfortable having the y on the right hand side when you're used to having it on the left hand side you can certainly move it over to the other side. You can make it negative 0.3y. The only thing you have to be careful about is right now, the less than sign is pointing to it. Therefore, we have to flip this over and make sure the less than sign is still pointing to the y. But if you're comfortable with doing that, you're more than welcome to uh, make that change. Okay, now we want to get rid of that negative 0.3. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to divide by a negative 0 0.3. I'm going to divide this by negative 0 0.3. This part's easy. These cancel out. I'm left with y. Over here, I'm dividing by uh, 0 0.3. So I'm going to take the, or negative 0 0.3. So I'm going to take my 6 and I'm dividing it by 0 0.3. Moving this over one place. Move this over one place. Now, 3 goes into 6 twice. Multiply it. I have left over zero. Bring this one down, and I'll put a zero in this place because you can't leave it empty. Um, so zero times three is zero, and so I have negative twenty. Now you got to make sure I divided this time both by negatives. Therefore, I have to flip the sign into a greater than sign because again, I I divided by negatives. So my answer is y is greater than negative twenty. Um, and so again, a number that's greater than negative 20, 0. So 0 times negative 0 0.3 is 0, and 0 is less than 6. Again, I'll plug that in if, that makes, if you need to see it. Um, if 
I made this negative uh, 0 0.3 times 0, then this value would become 0, and 0 is less than 6, therefore it works out. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in a number line. And I have uh, here, I'll, do, I'll make it a negative 21, negative 20, negative 19. And this time, uh, y is greater than negative 20. Therefore, I'm going to use an open circle. The open circle basically tells us that um, it's not included in negative 20. It could include uh, negative 19.99999, but it cannot include negative 20. And so this is a symbol or symbolically showing us that we can't do that. And it's going to be greater than, again, so it's going to go to the right. And that is the solution for that problem. I think we're going to stop off at 3. I will have a follow-up uh, for this lesson with some more complicated problems. I hope uh, this lesson helped everybody, and uh, have a great day.